A good, great morning to all of those who tuned into the realest thing in the world coming out of Guyana. I'm looking swag, boy. Eh? But not so swag, my head looks like lopsided. I gotta get a, a hairdresser. Yesterday I asked for a, for a, um, for a, a fight trainer. <laughs> You guys see the names people mentioning? Tic Tac Auntie, Norton. <laughs> I can't make up these things. A good, great morning to Nardia Khan. Shazam, good morning. Tevin, good morning. Shirley, morning. Paul. Ganesh, a good morning to you. Emily, good morning. And as you come on the live, you share the live. What's been going on? What's hot and what's not in your area? You got probably the internet? Or just me? Okay. We need an address to money roller cash. The drain money has not arrived. We have two point one currently in the bank, but there's some unclear check. Which you know exactly what available when I'm done reconciling. Okay. Call the lady in Canada and ask her one to the money. Uma, a good morning. Suki, morning. Anne, Rosie, morning. Lorraine, a good, great morning to you. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I come across a video. And all I'm thinking about is PNC and the supporters. I can't make up these things. Yeah, why tell you, if you telling me this is not PNC in action, change me name. We start the day on a positive note, get a little laugh, and then we can go into the, the news. I can't make up this thing. What's this video here, so? This is suspectedly some Obama somewhere in the world taking out things from somebody, body. <laughs> Na cancer cells, na build up food, na old tooth, you know, pulling out from here, na old tooth come out, pieces of plastic, brick, a hook, some kind of fishing hook, you understand? All kind of garbage in this man's body. I can't make up this thing. When I watch at this, because this man said, I don't believe these things actually coming out to his body. When I sit down watching this, I can't, I watch PNC and the supporters and the action. PNC, we could do this, pull out a brick. <laughs> we could do the pull out a piece of plastic from your knee. <laughs> this man pull out a brick from this man. <laughs> when I watch, I thinking it got to be brick there in PNC supporters' head. It got to be plastic there in the body. <laughs> it can't be brain. Watch this video. Are you making up this thing? Watch. Pull out a brick. Take a leaf. Pull out another brick. Two bricks come out here. Rubby head. Rubby shoulder. Pull on something to his belly. Pull out something more. A piece of blood. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Robbie Bailey. Pull out a piece of plastic. Another leaf. Pull out a what? All of them coming out of the man body. Pieces of brick. Pieces of plastic. And he sit down there believing. Watch. More brick come out. Ali hang a brick on the inside. <laughs> you know, with all the things that are in the body. No fat. No overgrown cells. Cancer cells even pull out. It's bare brick and nail. And I'll eat this guy for the manga for be a PNC. Watch he pulling out things. This is not hmm, with the members. Watch, pull out something for the money. I can't make up these things. They might pull screw, nail, plastic, fishing hook. Back of your neck, we pull out from back of your neck. I can't make up these things. If there's not PNC in action, change me name. If the is not PNC in action, if PNC, the celebrate, this is a celebration, this is a, this is a celebration they had the other day. I can't make up this thing. Even if I wanted, stay away from he. Said she said. Oh, he said she said. People, because most of the time they said it too. Oh, Jesus Christ. What you going on here? And I, I'm telling you, I kid you not. Carol Joseph. A PNC member put up a post like this. A set of rat pan stick. Fry rat. This is the kind of people was dying these kind of thing. How you just wake up a day and just put up a post with a set of fry rat? <laughs> what going through your head? You understand? If you watch them post, you gotta go to them people page. There's a celebration they had. <laughs> so now, me now make up them thing this. I you know. I just up on the web perusing. They win some. When I see this winning celebrations, what is keep? I can't hear this. You tell me what's the difference between this and sir? You tell me what's the difference between this, the way you're seeing there, and this. You just tell me what's the difference. You tell me what's the difference. I'm not pulling out brick out of people here. <laughs> brick. 
plastic. Man, do a rub, pull them down, down the throat, take it out from the center of the chest. Is with me disappearing, am I? What happened there? Shut down, yes, sir? This is what I said. 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 The camera didn't start to trip out just so. Come on, man. Well, use the next camera now. Can you? Come here. Mm. Magically, when you talk about Obia and these people, next thing the camera should never shut down. This is the first time this happened. Yeah, can I come with connected? Okay. If you telling me this is not PNC in action change, I'm gonna be limited to it because my fever is raging last time, but I need a deal with cash in the bank. You get through? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's crazy. No. Yeah, it, it it's it's very much crazy. Like like like, like we did back. You got freaking with him. The man pulled out a brick and plastic out of it. But I watched the radio. I said, "Eh, it's PNC walking in." But this is how PNC is up. You can't show the PVP celebration, man. I remember them uh, give food and thing. Yeah, I said, don't come for celebrate. You don't want to pit it against one another. Greta, good morning. Arjuna, good morning. Sharma, good morning. Um, so we had some accidents recently. We had a we can't I can't show the videos. Can you show the videos? Okay, cool. So this was an accident that recently happened. And you gotta be careful. No. You got to be careful on our roadways, right? You got to be careful on our road. Look at this accent carefully. So some this is industry, um, roadhead. And what you're looking at is, let me give you a gauge of where you are. Put up the whole video so you'll get an understanding of where they are. Just put me up on a little, a little thing. Beautiful. So what you're looking at is CCTV footage from a home. And this is the camera looking in the northern direction. In the back there, at the line and tree line you're seeing there, is the Atlantic Ocean. If you know industry, this is line top. That donkey cart we are seeing there, this is heading east. This is east. This is west. This is south here. And this is north. This is the Atlantic Ocean. So the car is going up the east coast. A car going up the east coast. Obviously, it's my turn. I need traffic here. These banners with these bikes every day killing themselves. Which in, whether it's the electric bike or motorbike in general, like everybody from bike gone crazy. I don't know what the Ghana police force is doing about it. I don't know why the Ghana police force don't start a campaign and start taking people off of the road that don't have helmet. You understand? That's the first thing. The Guyana police force um, units that, that deal with patrol, 
they seem that their main job is for run down law-abiding citizens and try to get money. I see no other purpose in them. Straight up. I don't know what it, every time I see them, they're stopping somebody unnecessarily. They got people riding around without helmet, them thief man, with them CG. They got set of them riding around little scooter, them thief man again. You understand? They got people practicing and safe practices, people driving well up in the road. I don't know what the patrols in Guyana just do. I know they don't do what a job they're supposed to be doing. They were looking for people to wife and stab them, tell them how they're looking good. Yeah, I said they're looking for people new car, rich man car, and stuff that I don't know what the fudge this be doing. With all the patrol vehicles that government is buying and giving the Guyana police force. Yeah, I said. They seem they just down there for oppressed people. Sometimes one thing the Guyana police force is an arm of the PNC. How they operate. Right? So. No, no, no. We got to be real. You look at when they're stopping traffic. How you going to stop a PAC, a PAD thing? When you buy a car. If you go and buy a car now, you're getting six months insurance free. Why the fuck do you think me and me documents? Where are you stopping me for? You got so much of patrol vehicle. Every other part of the world, people looking. Sorry, we see you. And people are asking, where are you stopping me for? I ride in the RD, going to Linden, well suit up. Two of them, they're out by Ma 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 Maduni, 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 Maduni. When you left, um, when you left, splash me in. Pull in the car, and so I said, for what? Got to have my suit, my gear, everything. But No. I look like I got money. I got a fancy helmet and so I ride fancy bike. You understand? Sir pulling, uh, driver pulling the car. For what? Then the other one said, it's critic Dubai. I asked him for what? Well, sorry, I was riding fast. Or you look like younger people. Or we would like to see a paper. Driver pulling the corner. Driver pull For what? Always looking for something. If you hungry, that's me business. It's my body. Who gives a fuck if it's you body? Then I'm me business. Boss man, today's my first day man. You understand? I wish it was your last fucking day on the job. That's why I wish. You're like a parasite. Boss man. Um, you know it's my first day. We we doing for you, boy. It's lunchtime. You understand? Why is that a hungry belly police? You come with your walk with your freaking lunch bowl. So what you going on here? So this one driving like a jackass. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? All right, talk to me. In 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 response to the people that are pleasant that are protesting, do you realize PNC don't like development money? These people are logic to development and progress. Continually, it's it's seen. Now, what happens? Obviously. Race baiting has not worked. Guyanese, Black Indian, Amerindian, everybody realized we don't have that problem because we're drinking together, we dip in the sea well together, we, we, we don't have a race problem. And in the true sense, a problem, not to say there's not racism in our society. But yes, in racist. general, but, um... in general, we don't have a race problem. That we is to the level that would people. cause segregation in our country, that would cause, as they were saying, apartheid. So they play these games out. They did not work. Now it is, it is 
a new thing, whereas they have adapted an approach and a stance to anything that does with development, they got a stance against it. I did not know, and as I showed you guys the other day, while the protests that they were highlighting was happening outside, there were serious, meaningful discussions inside with ministers of government and the vice president in vice Pleasance. Bro. By the way, the vice president is a resident of Pleasance. Understood. <laughs> But I was looking at yesterday, Mr. Um, Bishop Edgel were in Pleasant engaging the, um, the, 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 uh, the vendors, the immediate vendors, vendors, right, within the vicinity here. Now, one of the questions asked by one of the vendors was, um, why so fast um, with the expansion of the... the After the, the local election? government election? No, yesterday, I told me yesterday. He no, but to... why so fast after what? This is what the resident asking me to be, um, the, the, the minister. Why so fast with the, um, the, expense, the expansion of the, the railway bank? My brother? Why? And why they got to do a four in the road? I was like, no, wait, these people don't like development. They don't. Well no, 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 PNC people don't. That's the problem. That's the problem. Suffering. You understand? Here we have now most of them, by the way, are Christians. You understand? And they have been indoctrinated by the fact that, well, here, in the afterlife you're getting, you could stay here and suffer. You understand? Now, me, partner. I can make a heaven and an oasis right here. Here was the funny thing. Here was the funny thing. These people, the, the vice president has been, I know. People been going and telling people who got concrete place and so in front of the, the, the um concrete in front of the place mm -hmm. when they lined up by success and so six months ago. Mm -hmm. When I know the expansion serious, six months ago, the people been carrying notices to people by success for tell them this concrete way thing will be broken and will be going in back. Yes, sir. The vice up. president. When he detailed the different development was going on in all them press conference and all the outreaches, continually say four lane highway from Mahika upon the line top all the way down. We doing four lane. And you know how nice it would look. How beautiful. My partner, now word how nice it gonna look. Me ain't got time with that yet. You ever try for go up on the line tap in the morning? That has got to make them one way. Chaos. It is chaos. You understand? That is needed. It is important. It is needed. The only problem I got is that doing an expansion on the road there. And by the way, we started a whole episode. I've already started recording it. An episode on the Chinese. Because recently I bought some things from um, the Chinese. Mm -hmm. I purchased something from China and I get robbed. I have all my evidence and it seems the Chinese have, I didn't know when I go and do my research and I find it from the embassy and so, it seems that the Chinese have been robbing Guyanese for years. But because of the fact that it's big businessmen and it's big money lost, nobody wants to talk about it. So we can start a special episode where every month you know, or every week we got episode from the Chinese, whether they're robbing you in the supermarket, yeah, when they're robbing you, how they're robbing you, why they're robbing you. It got for done. Because I'm going to tell you something. I, about um, 10 years ago, I had some friends who are in Mercury from China. 10 or 12 years ago. And I think the shipment was like 25,000 US. And you know when the shipment reaches, a, it's, it's a set of sun in the bottle of them? My brother... I, when I tell you all the story of what I experienced with the Chinese, when I go to the Chinese embassy, the totes business in Guyana. When I get this experience with the Chinese right away, watching I can't the bridge where they're building across the river go fall down. If they're gonna put the right material inside, I realize we gotta look at them. You can't let a government for look at them alone. You hear what I tell you? You gotta look at them. I watch it at the road with the Chinese bill. Where every minute you gotta fix the road. Right? Now they give the Chinese them more work. For broaden the road from Belfield to go to Mahaiko. I could do the work. I go in and do the episode Pandotto. Every week I'm doing an episode from the Chinese. You understand? 
because I want to know what they're doing here. I want to know with all the failed Chinese projects, how they continue to get projects. I want to know what's going on. You hear what I tell you? Mm -hmm. Because I can't label the Chinese as anything else than cons. Them are invest. I go to the embassy, I say, man, what you going on here? Them not know the people. The first information I get is recommendation from the Chinese. When I ask about the company, they say, yes, it's a registered company. They got a registered company in China. Registered and respected by the Chinese government. We're robbing people in Guyana. Don't put nothing past them. You understand? We're doing a whole epic. And I ain't doing it live. I'm doing it where I, 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 the only thing I discuss when I bring out these one our episodes is the Chinese. You understand? I check in them expired thing and fake thing where they got to the supermarket. Everything Chinese this whole year. Straight up to, to Chinese New Year. Next year. I deal with the Chinese them. I buy couple hundred thousand, couple thousand US strand. And if you see what they bring give me, what they send and give me partner. The shipping company too. I want to know how you heist up a container. You know the container got 25 ton. The container got 5 ton inside. <laughs> Couple strand wrap up. When the strand come, we pull the strand. The strand to go. The strand to bust. Them thing when the bus partner could kill people. You imagine they selling you things. I want to know if you're buying any medical supplies. Any medical equipment from China, you can't buy from China. Who buy it? How are we sourcing these things? <laughs> the Chinese only out for rob you. And they rob the wrong man. When I tell one, I'm listening to say, yes, a man by bag. You hear what I tell you? A man by bag, have a sack and, and, and thing. And when the thing comes, one container brick. And this happens. You not hear about it. It happened at Munishwar. Why people are going to bust the thing? Me could have dropped down there when me see this shot. And me said, this is I got one more body here. For... Hello, good morning. The next morning. Yeah, Beginning bro. to the Chinese, right? Mm -hmm. My boss buy $80 million in sheet filing from China. What about almost a year and it never reached. And the first when you deposit the money, the bank account was punished. When we start doing investigation and everything, you're not finding back the first. Send all the details to me. Send all the details to me. Get him off a call. Maybe do one episode panda. Every anybody with any problem with the Chinese, send it to me. Yeah, my brother. Roger that. Every week is a different episode. I want to know what cement they use it for build the bridge. You understand? It's not for say, I want to know when they got done the fucking airport. Chinese again. Like it never got done. What you going on here? I go to the embassy. I want to know. I want to know. Can't get a reply. Done, they done with me. Take all me in from me. You can't find you the Chinese government. I hear they all over the place robbing people. Go Africa, screw up the whole nation. I hear come a Guyana too? No, man. Me and the Americans, them is not friends, but I ain't got to hook up with them on this one here, so Chinese out of this fucking place. Pretty. Yeah, morning. Morning, my brother. Um, I just want to make an appeal on your life this morning. Today marked 12 years since my mother was murdered. You know, the, you and I talk about it, the Rob Street granny. And I'm still appealing to the DPP, the Diana, where is it? What, what, what the, P's, the DPP stands for, Director of Public Prosecution, hmm. um, to get the mastermind that took the job to kill my mother over the property dispute. That's not a job of the Lawyer DPP, um, Alan. Just for yeah. clarity, that's not a job of the DPP. Um, the Guyana police force would have had to investigate. And first thing is, 
there are some men who are serving sentences for the murder of your mother. Yeah. Go if they would have trail. told the police who is the person, and I think some of them serving life sentence. Yeah, they appeal to the um, Caribbean court and the, the Roger the that. So if that. they would have told the police who hired them, that individual would have been charged. Well, the police that dealt with the case is a guy by the name of Sarabu and Caesar. And they said to me that evidence was there via another guy who was from the Phantom Squad by the name of Otis. And they will soon um, collect them and put them in front of the courts. It never happened. When, is, when, is, when you had, and them had this conversation? I was in Guyana in 2012 after burying my mother and Sarabu and Caesar said this to me in front of my uncle. He says, um, they know who are the alleged, um, or, or was it, um, they, they, they had the whole operation. He said that to me. Okay. Okay. And he said it all, um, they're going to bring in the masterminds, not to worry. They will face their day in court after they have arrested the four that confessed it. It also happened that they put Otis up. They took him to Eve Leary and he claimed that he and the four guys that killed my mother had a drug run-ins. This is why they implemented him. But the people them says no, it's trans-Pacific. They are the people with Otis who hired them, they even speak out how much money they got each. Was this brought out in court? And this was brought out in court. For some reason, the files disappeared. So I'm still appealing to Mr. Sarabu, Mr. Caesar, as you give me your word, please hold your word. As a family, we are grieving here today because we cannot get closure to this matter. This is all we're asking for, closure, justice, okay? I was offered $6 million by the, the, the people who own trans to forget about the matter, and I told them, no, I don't want no blood money. All I want is justice. If you do the crime, serve the time. Don't try to bribe me with money and ask me to forget. The other thing that is very painful, critic, the land court judge that deal with this whole property dispute wrote in her summary that teams went into the house and killed my mother. This is 12 years now, brother. My mother took six bullets. She died swallowing her dentures. A 72-year-old Christian mother, grandmother, aunt, who looked after elderly people at the, brethren, at the back of the Brethren Church. And this matter is just like nothing happened. Why? Why? Why do we have to still go through this pain and suffering, buddy? I so be happy when I hear you speak of your mother. Even though you and she fall out, you could still go and cuddle she up and sit down, open your newspaper and say, Mommy, I love you. Why? I can't do that anymore. My mother, my diamond, I could change and get a million wives. But you and I know it's only one mother we got. And we will do anything to get justice for your mother. I appeal to the Guyana police force, please give the Fitku family closure to this matter. It's pain and suffering. Mental health issues is stepping in. You know the truth? Make Guyana proud by showing at least you are being paid to let law prevail in Guyana. Have a good day, buddy. Yeah, Alan. Sad situation. Alan's mother was murdered, brutally murdered, um, allegedly after a land dispute. And she used to live um, on Rob Street in the corner of Rob and Light Streets. Um, I don't know more of the details of the matter other than I've been told. I can't say I have an in-depth understanding, as I do with a lot of matters that I personally investigate, but you heard from Al, Alan um, himself. Alan is in, uh, lives in, in England, and um, very sad situation. He's asking 
for justice, right? And a lot of times, um, Alan is not the only one. A lot of times justice is not served in this country. That is a reality. A lot of times, that is why I keep this platform. Because as much as people would say um, things sometimes that you don't want to hear and could be heart rendering, this is the only place you can come and air your concerns, no matter who the person is. You could even come and cuss me if you're angered by what I say. I afford you that opportunity, right? So, um, as it relates to that, I'm hoping that someday Alan could get justice, at least whatever justice, uh, because they are persons that have been prosecuted for killing Alan's mother that are in prison right now accepted that they murdered her brutally. What they have not been is an explanation as to why. It was not a robbery. It was a hit. That is also, nobody knows on to know what was the hit for. And that is what is Alan is asking for, clarity. This was a brutal murder met out. On an innocent old lady. You understand? If you're coming, like like everything else, every case, I don't ask how a case could close. Or how people could go to jail. Why are they going to kill a lady? Motive. Every case. When people make a case out, the main objective in, in, in sentencing is the motive. You get a lesser sentence if it is... Um, if it was um, accidental, if it was a crime of passion, it is a different sentence. They look at that. that, that those are mitigating factors in a sentencing decision for a judge. What were the mitigating factors in this sentence? Do you accept that it was a hit? Who ordered the hit? These are the things that have to be, um, the questions that have to be asked, right? So, a lot of times on the road, um, so this is, this, this accident happened uh, recently, and again, just to give you guys a gauge of it, this is industry um, main road, this is the line top here, Right? And this our scart is heading in the eastern direction. Should give you guys a gauge of what you're looking at. This is so it's for go to see wild side. And a car would have stopped to turn south. Uh, coming from Georgetown would have stopped to turn south into um industry. And a bike jackass, I call them a bike jackass because they don't realize. If you get an accident on a bike, you're going to be seriously injured. It's not a car. Look at what happened. So he come with a speed, hit a man and got straight in the trench. Right? So let me go slow and watch this. By the camera stop, you know. Camera stop for turn. In a little angle. I think he done he done hit. And they're in the trench. Happily in the trench. He and another man, they're happily in the trench. You riding down the road and running to one of these jackasses. So Carman even gave a Carman in turn. What you going? What is speed we cover? He hit the man mirror, right? Right here. The cameraman about to turn. The speed we he coming up on the outside, overtaking all the way. You do not overtake on corner areas. You don't know when somebody is going to turn, right? He hit the car. Last control. 
What you going on here? Bike man now. We're riding from the wrong side. He's a good jackass. That's good for he. Because watch where he coming from. He driving from the wrong side of the road. The bike man, the he. This bike man riding up the one way. The wrong side of the road. Right? Bike jackass come behind he. And he riding. What you going on here? He get what he looking for. He riding up the highway. Watch. <laughs> imagine. I can only imagine he watch it back. A motorbike man flying coming. Watch the angle. Watch the body. He body pasture. He watch him back. Right? He up on the wrong side of the road. Riding in the wrong direction. Watch. You know, motorbike man. I thought he'd go for that. Watch, watch, watch. Watch. Okay, man. Collect he. Watch. Both of them in the train. Both of them in the trench. Two jackasses make one full ass. Two jackasses make a full mule. <laughs> Both of them in the trench. Right? Bam. In the trench. Kama must be calculating. This is what really I see. Kama come out to see the two of them swimming. The two of them coming out the gutter. Watch. Watch it is it fat. Bam! Lick they are both in the <laughs> No, well, I don't mean crying for nobody anymore. I stop crying for people. Yeah, right tell them two jackasses get just what they deserve. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, sir. Uh, critic, I'll be brief this morning. I mean, I listened to the call from Alan, and I, I got to sympathize with him. Uh, my father used to be the head of CID for a long time, a long time ago, and that's before his case. But, but credit, what I want to mention is I listened to our vice president's um, presentation yesterday. Um, as usual, he is very good at what he does. Um, he pointed out some things that really struck me. At least he mentioned 12 instances of fraud or fraudulent behavior by current or past MPs. Whether or not they're on their side or his side, I really don't care. And, and let's put Mr. Darum Lal's situation aside. As he said, they said, they're gonna figure that out. But what, I, what struck me was the fact that nobody gets prosecuted with all of the stuff that has been mentioned. And I'm sitting there, 3 o'clock this morning, listening to this. I had to go to the bathroom after that because I said, man, if people can, if people can get away with the stuff that Guyanese politicians do, man, we're probably one of the most corrupt nations on earth because people getting sentenced, uh, people losing their jobs in Britain just for lying. I mean, Boris Johnson loses his job just for saying he had a party and he didn't have a party or he had a party or he didn't have a party. I want to know how Guyanese are politicians get away with the stuff they do and why there's no prosecution. Is it simple? So simple. Cool, is so bad? Simple. The judicial system is a failure. The, the, the public prosecution system is a failure. Simple. It's simple. Okay. Here, why? If you look at the amount of cases that are lost, nobody has. If you look at what a police prosecutor is, if you go to your police yeah. and they get some kind of little training, but a police prosecutor is not necessarily a lawyer. That is correct. You that understand? Correct. My dad was a prosecutor. Mm -hmm. Roger. So a police prosecutor is not that versus to have a degree, a law degree. They don't have a law degree. That is correct. So imagine mm -hmm. you going up against a judge a magistrate against a suspect with a lawyer. You understand? And all you're doing, you don't know yep. how to properly present this evidence. You're assisted along by the magistrate or that judge. So the system wow. itself is a failure. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yep. Nobody, yes, what we yes. have not done, and it's been a failure for a long time, what we have not done is revised, like with a business. On a monthly basis, I check me business, and if me thing ain't working out, we fire staff on a monthly basis. If you don't produce, we get rid of you. We hire people, we try things, you understand? We get rid of you. Yep. 
The system, the public system does not work that way. For get rid of somebody, for get rid of a driver, a public servant driver is one long, long, long story. And they might be doing wrong things. You got to go through a process. You understand? A bureaucratic yeah. process. Yeah. It's a failed system. Yeah. Very much so. And this administration, I see their, their laws being amended and adjustments being made to the Constitution and so on. But enough is not being done because I am saying, as you said, the advice, I didn't see the vice president's um, statement, but you saying he, he listed 12 cases. So how you could get 12 cases? And I'm hoping um, in this case, it goes it, it, in the Durham Law case, it takes its process and justice is served. And here was the problem with Guyanese. When they said they want justice, they want thing in their favor. They don't understand what justice means. <laughs> when Guyanese say, I want justice, they mean, I want thing in my favor. You understand? Mm -hmm. They doesn't mean yeah. that I prescribe and subscribe to the judicial system and again, you can't beat up on them for that because the judicial system for the most part is a failure. Look at how long people have to wait to get land matters sorted out. Look at how long you have to wait to get people out of your place. Look at what happened at Hillfoot. There was a legal process that a man went through for five years to get people off his land. Then the squatters come, start burning the road. Then the opposition politicians come in and come in and start claiming his government fault because it was close to election. And everything got a set of dirty, um, surreptitious, you know, things going on inside of it. The police get blamed. This and the police are there acting and assisting, which they should have done. I have known, I know politicians get involved. And they telling the police, why are you getting involved in the, they send this the police job when a marshal is going to execute a judge's order, the police serve as the peacekeeper. That is correct. Does that mandatory. Is and I know mm -hmm. a big politician get involved and say, will you go in and get involved? Tell the police, will you go in and get involved in the, for while this is a sitting government politician. And he did that mm -hmm. because he didn't want to stir up the waters at the time when the election is going on. While the mm -hmm. opposition, you understand, it's not wrong and right. It's the time, it's politics, it's race, it's religion. It's a set of different things. And that is why yeah. we're so, we're such a fucked up society. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I mean, I live next to, um, and I don't want to call names, I live next to uh, one of the councils that tried to represent the PNC, uh, APNU in the recall, and his wife lived next, right next to me. She's a senior counsel also. Um, and I will tell you, everyone hides behind the British Constitution and the Magna Carta and what has happened here and what has happened there and all the, if you listen to those arguments it makes no sense because when you come to Ghana we don't have as you just said the execution of the judiciary being at arm's length and functioning properly and I remember days when my dad was a prosecutor and he had to travel from Essequibo to Georgetown to prosecute cases in high court and my dad was not a, I mean, he was a, he was a sharp guy. I mean, I will tell you that he didn't lose many cases, but, um, the, the average policeman that's a corporal or a sergeant going up against, as you said, a magistrate and a, a, a refined lawyer like Nigel, uh, Nigel Hughes will never win a case. And I'm just depressed the fact that no government minister has been prosecuted or is being brought to prosecution. And I put Mr. Darren Law's situation aside. That's irrelevant for now. That that's will be proven by he say, she say, whatever. Um, but I'm talking about like, um, um, Jack, you mentioned um, Patterson and Umanza or whatever. Well, Trump, you have a number people. of people, mm -hmm. I must say, in representative, in representing the opposition, although they're not here. Um, they are before the courts. Patterson uh, is before the courts. A lot of people <laughs> is before the courts. Um, in the election issues, they are the low in field is before the courts. But yes, they, it's, it's very here. It's all here how I know it is a corrupt system. And some would want to argue 
that um, it is, that's how the system works. And no, no, no. You look at when people deal with me, how expeditious it is. Expeditious it is. You understand? Exactly. When they deal with a man like me, exactly. what a no attack, one week I win one case and lose one case. You understand? Yes. Quick. Yes. And I say, I did not appreciate, not did not agree. I did not appreciate the outcome of the case against the Guyana Press Association, but I did not appreciate it because I went there to win. I felt the Guyana Press Association was trampling my rights. I went to the court. So I did not appreciate the outcome. I respected it because I respect the Chief Justice and her decision. Right? The okay. next case, I was comfortable with it because the decision was in my favor. But that's because it's me. I went and cleared a crane in one day at Demerara Shipping. I start from morning and done in the night. Cop storms container broke. Me just get container in one day. Me just get me issue look after right away. I am saying it can be done and that opportunity is supposed to be afforded to all Guyanese. I go to NIS for compliance. They send somebody to investigate, go to the work site, check what's going on. I made myself available, although the girl said was not needed. I said, if there's any questions you want to ask or anything you want to know or anything you want us to put in place at our works, I tell me. Right? And now Winston got to NIS because Winston is a black man and he got a foreign accent. One set of run wrong. The body you ain't come to work today in the day. Yes, and the man have a sign, he come in. <laughs> you hear when they hear. I, I get an argument at the gate. With his security. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and when they hear right there by the gate, Winston call back and say, you don't have to come in. Because <laughs> a lot of times when Winston moving, they know it's, it's who company. Yes, sir. When he call me and say, you get in a problem, because I just want to explain to me what's the problem. I will help you need, because I could help you. Yes, sir. <laughs> we get help in the morning life when I call your name. <laughs> so, I am saying there's too much corruption in the system because when I go, I just get through expedition. Thank you, Mr. Roger. Nobody got a bad attitude. You understand? And continually I get complaints. Oh, God, the wait is so long and the thing getting true and nobody calling them back. You understand? I have my shortcomings too. That is why I prefer to deal with things immediately. Because the amount is me alone, Rasta. Is me alone. Yeah. You understand? And I address issues and deal with issues as well. Come. That's why I tell people send me a message. You don't know why. The methodology behind it is if you send a message to me, this is thing, the cost me this day, this day that the police rang me. I could send it to a specific person and ask to get it addressed. My pipe broke. This is the video. Um, I sent it to Gaiwo. Um, Things sparking, this post falling, and you're sent and maybe you tell me I can't do nothing. If you call up on the program and talk, somebody might hear, but we're not guaranteed. Them. But you see me send a message, me say, man, look, this is the concern really guy. Because here me asking them no favor. It's not no running. The guy needs critic in doing nothing special. That is your job. When the post fall along and me make you aware, it's who job, partner. Meaning no but post, meaning no but electricity. You understand? Yeah. So, but, critic, if you had to give um, Barrett a piece of advice, and not to say that a government uh, is, is can change it, be, because uh, the judiciary is a separate element of the a separate arm of the government, uh, Parliament is, and then the executive piece of it with the presidency. What advice would you give him in how to improve the judiciary in Guyana? Because I think that's our shortcoming. People. Uh, the laws fail them in many ways, like Alan mentioned just now. I mean, and um, in, 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 in many ways, to the average man on the street, gets around the law because he, he's not sure the law is going to be there for him. 
what advice would you give the um, uh, vice president or president of our well, country let me tell to you, prove that? Although, although the vice president plays an integral role in the happenings of Guyana, me giving you no advice. He did too long in okay. this thing. He knew more than me. I will give the president. Okay. You understand? Okay. And the funny thing is, because it's the president running this thing, because of the fact that Jagdio plays an integral role and is very prominent in that role, people don't realize that the president has been doing things and moving things forward at a very fast pace. Okay. The president, I would say, boss, a lot of the change that you're implemented is long overdue and needs to be done expeditiously. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm the with president, you. he's already started implementing things through the, the, because how the thing happens is minister, ministers go to the cabinet meeting and the direction of this country is given by the president of this country. Mm -hmm. Not Jagdio. Okay. You understand? Jagdio I'm with you. plays a serious and integral role because he was once a president mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that Irfan Ali, who is now the president, played a role as a minister with him. Yeah. You understand? As a result of this mm -hmm. unique relationship, him being vice president, this government is in fast forward. He was finance minister coming through hardships. Jagdeo has an integral understanding of the inner workings and everything. Do you know, 1992 time, then when, when Jagdeo was finance minister, he used to be outside in vehicles sleeping and peeping and waiting for see when um, the running's gonna happen. When there's bringing things out from the wharf, lots of people don't know that. So when you're talking to Jagdeo and Jagdeo is talking about things, he know of these things. Yeah. You understand? One time they yeah. catch Dio Singh. The man who had KFC and so. Bringing out chicken for the runnings. Because it's clear one container bring out ten. You understand? <laughs> yes. Jagdio and custom officials. There's their peeping. So unlike yeah. this man and the stature that you see now. He has come through a process that affords him the opportunity. But it's the president that has to set the mandate. What Jagdio does is direct the PPP and advise and help with policy and everything else that he has a good understanding of. If you listen to his press mm -hmm. conference, you would see specific things. Yes. The direction yes. Yes. this country takes is it needs to be guided by the president. And I can advise the president that it needs to be, he needs to be expeditious because people are waiting. People are expecting a lot from him. He has set the bar so high. You understand? Mm -hmm. The expectations yeah, are yeah. very I guess, high. I guess my question was more focused on how do we fix the judiciary in Guyana? That's really... Uh... Um... Um... Policy changes, changes in the, 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 the constitution that were allowed for a time period. You have people, the Caribbean Court of Justice recently spoke about it. People there, 10 year wait. You imagine 10 year poor demand and then you, the, oh, the government man. lasts the case against you. Oh man. You understand? <laughs> they got to they got pay you back, man. <laughs> Partner, I tell you, then if you go for fight, for though, is another 10, 20 years before you could get you more. Buddy, I come with a case that you had me in court, in, in jail, for 10 years, wrongfully, and they got, it got to be a more than a month to prove that. 
You just call the prison services and find out if I was in jail for 10 years. Get the sheet where the case was dismissed against me. And a judgment could be made. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 It is the government to prove yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Your Honor, my rights have been trampled upon. I was placed in jail for 10 years wrongfully. How so? I have a document here to state the case was dismissed against me for a lacking of evidence. They didn't have evidence. And I, w I have another document here to state that I was in court, um, in prison for 10 years. Wow. Story done. Mm. What are you going on? Liar. Long, long, long story. A judge can make a decision. The government has to come now and claim why they had um, that, right? So what the vice president can help with is, a, is, a, is an understanding and, and gradually things are going on. For instance, the prison system, new prisons are being built. You understand? Look, now a massive prison is being built. A lot of things is going on behind the scenes and it left on the back burner because of certain um, things. Because of every day is some other story happening in Guyana. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. what we need is the president to outline. Because for long, we got, we talk about infrastructure and all them things. What we need or what advisor would give the president is please give us an outline and a time period as to when the judicial system, the, the, the law enforcement system, and all of them. Could be revamped okay. because it needs to be revamped. You understand? When you're driving okay. on the road and everything you run into police, um, is your brother Forrest Day, um, referees, is lunchtime. <laughs> you understand? I got, I have, I had a lot of those, man. <laughs> like what? A lot of those. Like what? <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> when people come from around the world, people are not accustomed to that. It don't happen in Trinidad. It don't happen. You understand? The vulgarity. What is it? To, what is it? What's the requirements to become a police officer? You understand? <laughs> What's the requirements? Is there, are we doing stats? When you go out to the road, how much people are you bringing in? How much people you stop? Why did you stop them? How do we track the performance? Is there any um, performance mandate? For a, 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 a police officer, how do we track your performance? You just go out there and do anything and it happens? Like the Guyana police force, every day is some statement, it's some shit. Quick, they're posting up who wanted an island thing. Let's get the statistics. We need the statistics. Is crime on the up? Is crime on the down? Are accidents on the up? Is accidents on the down? And if so, what are you planning to do about it? You understand? You're living in a society... Yes. We're continually um, information or misinformation is being put out there that brings distribute to the Guyana Police Force with no reply. What does the Guyana Police Force yeah. PR unit do? I am in the group and continually when someone from the media asks, whoever it is, asks for information, then some stupid statement from something else does come up. What totally unrelated to the information will come in. They always got some old statement for put up. It's bullshit. You understand? Yes. If there's a process, yeah. Yeah. if you have a group mm -hmm. that you filter information to the media, let me take this call. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah. If you have a group, if you have a group and the purpose of the group is filter information to the media. How it happens, you with me, um, Everton? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. I'm here. So how yeah. it happens, the police, when there's a situation, an accident and everything, a report is written up and sent to the command center. A, a database takes in that report. And I would want to think it's sent simultaneously to... Hello, good morning. Sorry, wrong number. Hello? Yeah, so I would want to think if that is a standard process, every accident or incident that happens filters. If we deal with accidents and incidents and highlighting on this news, 
it comes. People got asked. When I see an accident, then you got to ask the police. You got to issue a statement on it. You got to ask the police. When you got to issue a statement on Dharam Lal. When you got to issue a statement on this. When you got to issue a statement on that. It's bullshit. If there's a standard yeah, operational procedure, that. let's work with that. Yeah, I noticed that. I mean, other than Jack Deal's News Conference Weekly, the government doesn't do a good job in their PR um, to the public. And, and that's something that happens in America. There's a daily news conference. In Canada, there's a daily news conference. You inform the people. You let them know what happened today. Oh, yeah, Baksan. Police always got full Baksan. <laughs> Baksan. That's the next thing. Mm. Yeah. Everton, yeah. I think we had a nice discussion. I got, I got a yeah, role, yeah, bro. Yeah. I got yeah. thanks, thanks companies to run and thanks. money to make. I want to thank you for your <laughs> input. Right. Yeah. Always okay. a pleasure, brother. No thanks. Bye-bye. I want to thank you, the viewers, for tuning in, share the live, um, dealing with the issues. Uh, we have done the first episode, uh, first two episodes of, look out for the first two episodes of um, The Man Cave. I could tell you it's been unhinged. Um, one person even said, when they look at it, if you don't edit it properly, you might have people come in and protesting, women rights groups and everything else, um, protesting TBN. So we got to look at the, because it's going to be wild. If they're protesting, they got to protest. I'll make a video with the protest too, right? So you guys take care. Peace out.